4.1 number 10. Here we have a system of equations and we want to solve the system by graphing. So we have two different equations and first what I'm going to do is take the very first equation here, equation number 1, and find some points to plot. So we've got 6x minus 4y equals 8 and let's set up an xy chart and find a couple of points and then we'll graph them. We're going to do the same to equation number 2 and we will find some points to graph for that one. 6x equals 4y plus 8. So let's make a chart for that one. And then we'll make a graph and see where the lines intersect, if they intersect. So taking the first equation. Usually when the equation is in this format, where we have the x and y terms both on the same side, then I try to find the intercepts. Those tend to be the ones that are the easiest math to do out. So let's put in x is 0 and we're going to find the y-intercept. If x is 0, then the x term completely goes away and we're left with minus 4y equals 8. Dividing both sides by minus 4, we get y equals minus 2. Alright, so when x is 0, so imagine putting in the 0 term right there, 6 times 0 is 0, it goes away, then we get y equals negative 2. That's the y-intercept. Let's do the same thing and put y equals 0 in and find the x-intercept. If we put in y equals 0 to this equation, this term goes away. It multiplies out to 0. So we'd be left with 6x equals 8. If 6x equals 8, dividing both sides by 6, we get x equals 8 over 6, which is the same as 4 thirds. And that's approximately 1.3. So I'll put approximately 1.3 there. And now let's get two points. If you have extra time, always get a third point. But in the interest of fitting more on this video, I'm going to just use two points. So let's get the same thing for um, this problem over here. Let's put in x is 0 and then y is 0 after. So x is 0 into this first equation. If we put 0 in here, the left side disappears, it goes to 0, and we get 0 equals 4y plus 8. Take away 8 on both sides, we get minus 8 equals 4y, divide by 4, we get minus 2 equals y. So when x is 0, y is minus 2. And then let's put in y is 0. y is 0 makes this term go away, we get 6x equals 8, dividing both sides by 6, we get x equals 8 over 6, which is 4 over 3, or approximately 1.3. So we, when y is 0, x is approximately 1.3. Now you notice that these charts, where we're finding points for the two equations, have the exact same intercepts. And really, it doesn't matter what points we picked, if we picked another x value, like x equals 2 or something, they would both end up with the same y value because these are the same line. If we graph them up, get a piece of graph paper here, we're going to get a line that sits right on top of another line. So we have our x, y axes, and then for the first line we had 0 minus 2, 0 minus 2, and then approximately 1.3 and 0. 1.3, maybe right there, and 0. So there's our first line, and our second line is right on top of it. it. has the exact same points. When you have two lines right on top of each other, they're touching everywhere. And the place where the lines touch or intersect is the solution. Therefore, there are infinitely many solutions. So in my math lab, you would say the solution is i, or you could say if you were just writing it out on a test, <clears throat> infinitely many solutions. So that is number 10. Let's look at another one. Number 11. <clears throat> Again, we want to solve by graphing. So we're going to find um, some points for both equations. So let's start with the top equation, number 1, get an xy chart. 
Now in this one, the x and y terms are not both on one side, so I don't find it the quickest to find the intercepts. I think I'm going to start off with x is 0 and find the y-intercept, but then I'm going to pick something else for x, something that cancels nicely with the 4, so I think I'll just pick 4. And remember, you can pick whatever you want for the x values that you plug in. So when x is 0, I plug it in here, and this equation, let's rewrite the equation here, the x term goes away if x is 0, and I get y is minus 1. So I have 0 minus 1 for the first point. Now I'm going to put in x is 4. So if x is 4, I get minus 1 fourth times 4, take away 1. 4 and 4 cancel out. Gives me minus 1 minus 1, or negative 2. So when x is 4, y is negative 2. So those are the points for the first equation. Let's get a couple points for the second equation. Now this one I think will work nicely if I find the intercepts. Or in other words, I put in x is 0, find y. Put in y is 0, find x. All right, the general idea is you can put in whatever you want for one of them and solve for the other one. All right, so I just happen to pick 0 and 0 because I think it's going to work out easier this time. So 2x minus 4y equals 16. And I decided to put in x is 0. If we put x is 0 here, the x term goes away because the whole thing goes to 0. We get minus 4y equals 16. Divide both sides by minus 4. And we get y is minus 4. So that goes with x is 0. Now we can pick y is 0 because we can pick whatever we want. So if I pick y is 0, that whole term, 4 times y, would be 4 times 0. It goes away. And I'm left with 2x equals 16. Dividing both sides by 2, I get x equals 8. So when y is 0, x is 8. And like I mentioned before, if you're doing a test and you have extra time, find a third point for each equation. All right, now we're going to graph those four points that we found, and they're going to give us a graph of the system, and we're going to see if the system has a solution. So the first points were, let's see, 0 minus 1 and 4 minus 2. 0 minus 1, 4 minus 2. That's our first line, and I should really use a ruler. I don't think I have one here. Here, I'll use my three-hole punch. All right, so now we're going to draw a line going through those points. That's our first equation. And now we're going to use the other two points for the second equation, 0 minus 4 and 8, 0. 0 minus 4, 8, 0. That's interesting. It looks like it's lining up to go right through one of the points that's on the other line there. So again, we get our nice bulky ruler out here. Whatever does the job, right? All right, so there's our two lines. And they look like they intersect nicely right at this point, which was 4 minus 2. And the last thing you'd want to do before saying that's the final solution is check it in the original system. All right, so you should put x is 4 and y is minus 2 back into the original equations and make sure that both of them come out to a true statement, and that means you have the right solution.